154 Nigerians returned from Libya a few weeks after more than 200 of them voluntarily returned to the country. The returnees were received by officials of the National Emergency Management Agency and other government agencies at the Murutala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos. Receiving the returnees from Libya, the Director Research and Rescue, NEMA, Her Commander Mohammed Salisu said the cost implication of such program is huge for the government. Air Commando Salisu condemned the idea of vulnerable Nigerian youths constantly endangering their lives in their quest for a better life abroad. We encourage states and the National Orientation Agency to do more of this job because their mandate fits into this properly to educate the Nigerian citizens, particularly these young girls, on the danger of crossing the desert with the hope of reaching Europe, and eventually they will not reach Europe, they get stranded, some of them die and come back. Those who manage to come back, they come with Ill, uh, illness. We had a total of uh, three medical cases, and we had also uh, about uh, nine uh, females who are, we would regard them as vulnerable. Either they came with children or they were expectant. Uh, most of them came from detention centers in Libya, uh, they were not, not because they had committed any crime, but because they were in Libya illegally. The returnees are expected to go back to their various states of origin and reunite with their loved ones, while those with medical conditions will be hospitalized for evaluation and treatment. It was gathered that some others are still stranded in Libya. Patience Usaugiwa reporting.